Captain Marvel, she's the hero, gonna bring the MCU down to zero, single-handedly chastised a bunch of 40-year-old white guys. Captain Marvel, she's the hero. <laughs> Gonna bring the MCU down to zero Single-handedly chastised A bunch of 40-year-old white guys Captain Marvel Anyway, enough of that What is going on YouTube? 0088 here And if you haven't guessed already, I'm here to review Captain Marvel Got to show these boys how we do it You ready? Higher, further, faster, baby That's yes, right Try to keep up. Woo! Yes, I added to the opening weekend total, and now Captain Marvel's looking on track to make a billion, apparently. What? What is going on? The MCU is a beast, not even SJW social justice, social justice politics agendas can defeat it. Well, Let's give it time, it's the first one they've done. So let me get into Captain Marvel. Despite all the political crap that's going around it, despite all the anti-SJWs versus the SJWs and or whatever, all this big war that's going on, I'm gonna give you my unbiased review of Captain Marvel and what I thought of it. I thought Captain Marvel was, eh, it was okay. What's crazy is I went with my girlfriend, last I checked she was a girl, and I went with my sister and last I checked, well, Oh, she was a girl as well and both of them they hated the movie they both hated it they thought it was lame and boring and yeah Kemi doesn't even want to be in this review because she's afraid that she's going to cause me to get dislikes because how much she's going to rip into it I begged her to be in this review but she was like nah so take my word for it guys and I, I liked it better than they did. And they're the girls. That's just, they're the target audience for this shit. You know? I mean, I'm not a 40 year old white guy, but I'm a guy. And I'm close to, well, I'm 10 years away from 40. So, damn, I'm 10 years away from 40. Anyway, I'm 10 years away from 40. So, either way, the film, I thought it was middle of the road. It was okay. It was passable. But I'll tell you what I loved first. Let's go into what I loved, because I'm really going to go into what I hated. What I loved, I loved the action. The action was fun. It was like fast paced uh, action, like when she was fighting all the uh, ships at the end was a lot of fun. Um, what else did I like? <laughs> I like Nick Fury's acting was great, uh, Samuel Jackson's Nick Fury he was good. He wasn't as bitchy, everybody said like oh, they turn him into a little bitch, he, comes, he turns into Carol Danvers' puppet. I don't think he was Carol Danvers' puppet in this, he was... He was still Nick Fury, just a younger, a bit more naive and excitable version. Um, I'm going to go into uh, what I hated about him in my what I hate section. But yeah, he was good. Uh, ben Mendelsohn, like everybody kept praising him. Yeah, he was pretty funny, he was good, but I feel like he was overpraised. Especially for that twist of the scrolls. That, now I see why people liked him so much, because everyone kept calling him the main villain. He wasn't really the main villain though, was he? I'll get, I'll get into that when I go into, well, I'm, I'm going to go straight into spoilers. Spoilers, spoiler alert, it's all spoilers now. Um, yeah, so the scrolls got turned into the bad guys, no sorry, the good guys, and the Kree were the bad guys, and yon -Rog was a real villain, and yeah, Jude Law was pretty good as yon -Rog. he was good. And let's go into why I hate it because there's not much I liked. Uh, right, this first things first. Brie Larson as Carol Danvers is bad. It's just plain bad. Like she was like a wooden block. She just had no emotions. Like she just seemed so bored. Like there was no charisma. She like. There was no charm to her, and they're saying this is the hero, Captain Marvel, that's going to lead the MCU and take over Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr., take over Chris Evans, Steve Rogers, Captain America. I can't see her taking over being the face of Marvel with this kind of wooden acting. Like I don't know what it is. I haven't seen the room. Was it room that Brie Larson won the Oscar for? But it must have been something completely different because in this, she was just like, okay, yeah. She, 
what do we do? Oh, really? Yeah. She, 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 I don't know. She just, I think even I put a bit too much life in my impression. She just seemed bored. Well, I don't know what's up with Brie Larson. And it, it really took me away from the, uh, the fun of the film. Like, it really took me away from the story. I couldn't feel it because the main character was not giving me anything to feed off of, you know? The story was fun. The story was good. But the pacing was a little bit just all over the place. Like one minute we're flashback in, next minute we're seeing this fla this full flash forward, and we're seeing this uh, issue with Carol's past, and we're gonna see um, this tesseract thing, and there's just, just so much crap going on, and it's all really fast paced, and it, it probably takes a few watches to really get what's going on, especially if you're not really into the MCU and into all the stuff, like into all the details and everything like that. Probably why my girlfriend, she's into the MCU, she's seen all the films, but she's not like a massive nerd about it. Like she's probably seen each film like maybe once or twice at most. So she was like completely, kind, not completely, but she's kind of lost at some points because there was so much going on. Anyway, so yeah, the things I really hated, now I'm going to get into the nerd stuff that I really hated, that really pissed me off. They made Marvell into Hillary Clinton. Marvell is supposed to be this young um, superhero like, classic superhero uh, that, that um, gives Carol Danvers his powers, and then Carol Danvers takes his name, uh, Miss Marvel or Captain Marvel, as like an homage to him, as a respect for him, and. They turned Marvell, this leading man, into Hillary Clinton, into an old Hillary Clinton, where Marvel's meant to be this young, like, athletic, badass Cree warrior, and they turned her into Hillary Clinton. And I don't know why they did that. Well, actually, I do know why they did that. This is my theory. You're going to agree with me. You're going to call me Red Pill. You're going to call me an um, anti SJW men's rights activist or whatever. You, you're going to call me sexist, misogynist. Where, give me, throw me all the names. Give me the dislikes all you want. But I'll tell you the reason why they changed Marvell into um, an a old, like, boring woman instead of the strong guy that he was. Marvell, they couldn't have Carol Danvers. This feminist movie, this is supposed to be the most feminist you know, movie ever, and they couldn't have Carol Danvers take her name from a man. That's what it is. I guarantee you that's why they changed Marvel into an old woman. They had to have her look up to a woman. They couldn't have her look up to a man. Not this feminist movie. They couldn't have a man be the one that gives Carol Danvers her name. Marvel, Miss Marvel, uh, Captain Marvel, Marvel, you know? And it really pisses me off. Little things like that piss me off. Like, why? Just make Marvel what he's supposed to be. A dude, uh, it doesn't even have to be white, make him blue for God's sake, because the Kree are blue. There's two versions of Marvel, there's the blue Kree version, I think from the Ultimate comics, I'm not sure. And then there's the white Captain Marvel Marvel, the blonde hair and all that. But just do the Kree version and be done with it, you know? Like, why do you have to turn Marvel into a woman because of your political agenda? It's just such bullshit. Piss me off. Ruin the comics. Ruin the comic lore. Um, another thing that pissed me off is... You know what? Some people were pissed off of the whole, like, the Avengers got their name from Captain Marvel's uh, Monica on her ship. Or Bri uh, Carol Danvers' Monica. Her, her name was Carol Avenger uh, Danvers or something like that on her ship. And I'm not that fussed about that. It's not, like, some people might be upset because, oh, they made a woman named the Avengers. That's, I hope no one's upset about that. That is really sexist and weird. Um, but some people are upset mainly because Captain Marvel named the Avengers. But to be fair, like the Wasp in the original comics, she just randomly named the Avengers. They were like, we need a name for ourselves. And the Wasp was like, how about the Avengers? Agreed. Oh, I love that name. Agreed. That's what the, that's what the original Avengers comic, if you read, I think issue one, they gave themselves the name and the Wasp named them. So that's pretty cool. But they gave that to Captain Marvel. So in a way, yeah, you know, it doesn't really matter where the name Avengers came from. And oh, the thing that really pissed me off is how Nick Fury lost his eye. What the fuck? Like, why the hell did you have the cat rip out Nick Fury's eye? Like, to be fair, I got spoiled on that. When I first saw that, I was infuriated. Like, in context in the film, it makes a little bit more sense because it's the alien cat and the cat's all scary and it's got all these tentacles and all this crazy shit. So that 
weird alien cat ripped out Nick Fury's eye, but it's still played for laughs, even though it's an alien cat, and it just feels lame. Like, you thought Nick Fury lost his eye in an epic battle in a war, and he's trying to save his comrade, and he and he sacrificed himself, or maybe, like he said in The Winter Soldier, last time I tried to someone, I lost an eye. And maybe, like, he, he like, so, like maybe a scroll, but like, we all imagine that it was a scroll, like maybe Coulson or something. And he trusted him, and then he turned into like the scroll and shot his eye because he trusted him, and then he, his eye came out or something. Maybe Carol was a scroll and she took his eye out. Something cool like that, but no, the stupid cat. You know, it kind of takes away from the power of um, and the mystery from, um, you know, Winter Soldier. Now that scene in Winter Soldier has been ruined. The Russo brothers' epic scene, last time I trusted someone, I lost an eye. That scene has been ruined because of this movie now. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, so overall, I want to make this review kind of quick. I don't want to go into too much details, but yeah, the movie was kind of bland. Like, um, I didn't feel like Carol's growth at all. Like, Yon Rog or Jude Law kept saying, You're too emotional. You're too emotional, Carol. You're too, oh, sorry, you're too emotional, Verz, because that was her name. Verz, you're too emotional. She was not emotional at all. Where was she emotional? She was like, ah, Okay, what do we do? Really? Um, yeah. Well, yeah. I can't even do an impression because there's nothing memorable about anything Brie Larson did as Carol Danvers in this movie. Nothing. Literally, there's no great one-liners or anything that's exciting from Carol Danvers in this. Like, seriously. And it, I just... It's just weak for me. The best part was when she showed up in uh, the end credit scene where she showed up in Avengers... Uh, the Avengers headquarters and they said, and she was like, where's Nick Fury? Because they had the little uh, beep, beeper thing, or whatever it was. But yeah, so... That was interesting. It's, it's interesting, Captain America still had his beard and stuff, so that's like quite recently after Infinity War where she shows up. So she must be right at the start. So in that trailer where there was a gap missing when they were walking towards like something they could see in the sky. But that must have been Carol that was standing in that gap that they edited her out. They wanted to wait for the Captain Marvel film, I guess. So yeah, I mean, all the political agenda stuff aside, it's a, it's a decent movie. I'm just pissed that the, uh, the thing I hate the most is they changed Marvel into Hillary Clinton. I hate that. I don't know why. They should have just kept Marvel. How Marvel? I don't care. Make him Indian. Make him black. I don't care. But just not like oh some old Hillary Clinton woman just so you can have your oh Carol got her name from a strong woman no that's bullshit cause that's not how it is in the comics and you can say this is a different universe uh, the comics doesn't have to be exactly like the movies you can say that all you want but if you're not going to keep to the law the story of the comics and don't do the comics at all call it something different then because the whole point of seeing this MCU is seeing these uh, adaptations of comic books is to see the comics and the stories in the comics come to life, even if they come to life in spirit, right? And that's like a t a t like staying true to some of the characters, whether it's their gender or or their look, you know? Like, I'm not bothered about what race a person is or even what gender a person is, but it's got a feel and look like the character. And this Marvel was Marvel in name only. She didn't look nothing like Marvel. She didn't sound anything like Marvel or what you'd imagine Marvel to sound like. And she she wasn't even the right age. Everything was wrong. This wasn't Marvel. This was just a fake thing. And it, it ruined the whole mythos. If you're a Marvel fan, if you're the original Captain Marvel fan, ruined for you. That was the worst part for me, uh, personally. Uh, nerd nitpick, I know. But it was annoying. Um, other than that, Carol was boring. Brie Larson needs to really fix up if she's going to be the face of the MCU. I'm sure the Russo brothers can fix her in uh, Endgame. Because they're good at just fixing everybody that has a bad solo or weak solo film. Um, yeah, Captain Marvel's making a lot of money, which is kind of shocking. I don't know how far it will go. I feel like a lot of people won't see this film twice. Most films that hit a billion are because of repeat viewings and word of mouth. And I feel like, I didn't, I didn't think the word of mouth or repeat viewings would be strong enough for this film, but it seems to be making a lot of money somehow, but we'll see in the further weeks to come how much money this film's gonna make. So yeah, I'll give Captain Marvel maybe a five out of 10 because of the action. Or maybe four and, four and a half out of 10 because of the action. Um, I liked it better than my sister and my girlfriend liked it, surprisingly. 
Uh, I thought they would like, were like, because I was actually enjoying the first half. The action was interesting uh, at first, but then it just got really boring fast, you know. And Carol Danvers was really block of, she was the, probably one of the worst parts about the film, the main character. And that's probably what made everything else around it fall apart. Uh, do you like the shots with Monica Rambo in them? Yeah. She had an interesting relationship with Maria Rambo. Yeah. You know how it is. But yeah, that's my review of Captain Marvel. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Hit the notification bell for notifications, and I'll see you again. Peace. Your powers combined, I am Captain Planet. Captain Planet.